Day five, we're gonna get twisted. <laughs> Nancy and Pamela here. So come onto your back to start. These poses are generally reckoned to be really good for your digestion. You can bring your knees up and grab them into your chest. Just let your low back flatten out into the floor as preparation. So if you ever feel like your digestion is a little sluggish, twists are good. And then just let your knees drop all the way over to one side. If that top knee doesn't come to the floor, you can always put a block in between. And the opposite arm can come out like a wing on the floor. Keep that, um, if you have a choice between the opposite shoulder blade and the top knee, let the shoulder blade win. Keep that shoulder blade planted on the floor and notice what's actually going on in your torso here. So your, your pelvis is twisting, Pamela's twisting right. So her pelvis is twisting right while her, her rib cage is moving a little bit more toward the left. So a twist is really just offsetting your rib cage and your pelvis. You can take it up into the neck as well if you want to gaze over that left arm. And we'll get into this, the different sections of the spine that can twist in a minute. But just feel how good this feels, opening up the left side body, breathing into that left side of your, your waist there. And then when you're ready, you can inhale your knees back up to center and exhale them over to the other side. If you wanna reset your, yourself into the middle of your mat, sometimes we come off center and it really doesn't matter, but if you're somebody who likes to stay organized that way on the floor, you can reset yourself. So there's a spiral that goes all the way up your spine. On your inhale, that spiral gets a little more expansive. It's like lengthening a slinky. And then on the exhale, it can contract a little bit and rest into the floor a little bit more. You know, if you have time for one yoga pose in a day, this might be the one. I'm just resetting your spine a little bit. And then when you're ready, that feels even to the other side. Inhale back up to the cent to center and just hug your knees in. When you're ready, you can come to standing and we're gonna need a wall for this. So you might need to migrate somewhere. You're gonna go stand at the wall with, with your side to the wall and then put your two hands at elbow level on the wall. So hands just at the height of your elbow level. So already you got a little twist going. Resquare your hips. So your right hip, Camilla's right hip is square to the wall. You can use your hands. First of all, we're gonna twist in the lumbar spine, that space in between the hips and the ribs, your, your twisty waist. So take an inhale and lift up, get long, and exhale, twist in that part of your body just below your lowest rib. You wanna maybe tw twist toward the wall, might feel better on your spine. So use your hands. So if you wanna turn your twist, to the other side. keep, yeah, tw I think to the other side, yeah. Does that, does that feel better? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, right. So you're twisting toward the wall. So your, your mid-spine twist, but try and keep your pelvis nice and perpendicular to the wall. Then take another inhale, lift the spine up, and twist your rib cage over toward the wall. And use that press of your hands to help you. One more inhale, and then twist your, your head over toward the right as well. So your spine is twisting all the way over in that direction. And then we'll unwind the same way. Inhale, lift up, bring the head back to neutral in line with the spine on your exhale. Inhale, lift up. Bring your, tor your rib cage back to neutral. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release it. Okay, so feeling all those different regions of twist, and then we'll take it over to the other side. So left hip comes to the wall. Inhale, lift up tall. Twist to the left in your lumbar spine. Inhale, lift. Twist in your thoracic spine, your rib cage toward the left. Nice. Inhale, lift, and then turn your head to the left as well, your cervical spine. Just take a breath in and out. Lift up, your head comes back to center. On the exhale, inhale, lift. Exhale, rib cage comes back to center. 
Inhale, lift. Lumbar spine comes back to center and release. All right, so you can shake around, see how that feels. And then when you're ready, come over to the front of your mat. Just stand at the front of your mat to begin. I'm going to do a little sequence a couple times through to twist with some lunges and some balances. So from here, lift your left arm, your left knee up, sorry, and you can lift your arms up as well if you like. And then on exhale, twist over toward that lifted knee. So arms come perpendicular. Now, if this balance is a, is a challenge, you can always put one hand on the wall. Inhale back to center with the arms and then send that left leg back to the back of the mat for a lunge. You can keep your arms lifted. Maybe some space side to side between your feet. Inhale, lift up. Now exhale, twist right toward the front knee. So we're twisting two different directions in this sequence. There's a little scissoring in your thighs. Your hips stay as straight and level as you can. The rib cage is turning. Then inhale back up to center. Exhale, step to the front of the mat with your feet touching. Big toes touching, heels apart. Take a little utkatasana, so just a little squat here. Can't remember if we did this pose before already, but <laughs> probably not. So your weight's in your heels. It's a nice way to neutralize the spine. Lots of lift and then forward fold. Just take a couple breaths. You can bend your knees, shake out your head. We'll do that much on the other side. So when you're ready, inhale back up to standing nice and slow. Arms reach and your right knee comes up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, lift up to center. Exhale, lunge the right foot to the back of the mat. Yeah, find your balance. <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist to the left. Couple of breaths. Back up to center. Step forward to Utkatasana, your squat. You can always interlace your hands behind your head or bring your elbows really wide here. Doesn't matter how far you fold forward. You want to keep your chest lifted to the front of the room and then forward fold when you're ready. Shake out your head. Yes, no. Hmm. All right, let's do that one more time. Inhale up to standing, arms lift. Left knee comes up. Inhale, lift long, exhale, twist left. Inhale, back to center. We're going to do this a little faster. Exhale, send the foot back, lunge. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, step forward, Utkatasana, and forward fold. So this is what we would call a vinyasa, a flow in yoga where you're moving through poses on breath. It's a little faster, a little less restorative, but you'll warm yourself up really nicely. Alrighty, come on up to standing. We'll do the last side again. Arms lift, right knee comes high. Inhale, lift, up, lift your spine, exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, exhale, lunge that leg back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, back to center. Step forward to Utkatasana, your squat. And forward fold. I should say that little twisting sequence I got years ago from a teacher who used to teach at B called Jill O'Toole, who I still miss to this day. Mm -hmm. I always like to give her credit. I love that sequence. All right, come on up to standing, and we're gonna work a basic, really lovely um, yoga pose called triangle. So step your, your feet about, you're gonna turn sideways on your mat and step your feet about three feet apart. And then even a little wider than that, yeah. And then turn your, your right toes out. So both legs are gonna stay straight. Now you can be heel to heel in alignment or heel to arch. 
and just make sure your back heel is a little wider than your than your toes, right? So you want that a little tiny, yeah, perfect. You want a little tiny diagonal in that back foot. That's gonna help keep your low back happy. So legs are straight here. And we're gonna lift the right arm up to prepare for this pose and reverse triangle. So that arm lifts up. You can even start to drop your left arm down that back leg. And then on your exhale, come back through center and your right hand is gonna come down toward your right shin, maybe just underneath your right knee. If you wanna put it on a block next to your shin, either inside or outside is okay. And then the left arm, actually let's, before we lift the left arm, you wanna have, so engage your legs and press your legs down. This is a pretty athletic pose and your spine wants to be straight. A lot of people come into this pose and they come into a rainbow shape in the spine, right? They like fold over. That's not what you want. You want your whole spine nice and straight and your, head, your neck in line with your spine. If it hurts your head to look to the side wall, you can always look at the front foot. So there's a lot of ha work happening in the torso. Then you can lift your left arm straight up in the air. So there's a beautiful straight line in your arms. And then just expand into this pose, like press all your limbs away, both hands and both feet are pressing. Your spine is nice and straight. You might feel this mostly in your left hip. Three, now there's a little bit of a twist, right? Your left ribs are twisting back a little bit to hold your body in this straight line. Two, big inhale. Take a little bend into your front knee so you can release there as you come up to where we started. All right, triangle pose. Let's do that on the other side. I was thinking we would do this in a different order, but let's just even it up. So left foot is turned out, right foot is at that 45 degree angle. You can put your block down wherever you want it. <laughs> And then lift your left arm up to prepare. Think about the length of that left side of your torso. You're gonna to keep that length as you exhale and bring the hand down toward your shin or block. So the left torso is extending just as much as the right. Right arm can come high. And then notice the twist in your torso, right? If you release it, your right, your right ribs are gonna fall down. But otherwise you're gonna pull the right ribs back as you extend the left side body, legs are strong into the floor, everything is reaching. You can look at the top hand, look at the side wall, or look at the front foot, as long as you're keeping your neck in line with your spine. Couple more breaths, and when you're ready, bend the front knee a little bit and come on up. Alrighty, how's that? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's go back to the first side. This time, instead of having your hips open, we're gonna close the hips to the front of the mat. So that left hip is gonna pivot all the way forward and you're gonna need to reposition this back foot. So swing the toes in and then bring that foot way more to the left. Like you're gonna square your hips. You are in fact gonna square your hips to the front of the mat. If it's too long, if the stance is too long, shorten it up, there you go. You can have as much width between your feet as you like here. We're coming into a pose called twisting triangle. Lift your left arm up into the sky. Lift it up, get that left side body reaching. Then you're gonna hinge at your hips and just bring that hand all the way down to the floor or a block inside the front foot. Yeah, grab that block for sure. Most people need a block for this. It could be on any length. So already you're twisting a little bit, right? You've got that left, your left ribs are coming down, right ribs coming up. Now, as you lift your right arm up toward the ceiling, you're gonna emphasize that even more in your, in your rib cage. So left ribs are dropping down, right ribs are lifting up. Doesn't matter if your arm is straight up and down, but just make sure that it's halfway between your head and your hips, right? And then, Push into your feet, solid in the legs, hips are staying stable while this, this twist happens in your rib cage. Three. You can look at the front foot or the side wall or the top hand. Two. And just drop that hand down, forward fold over the leg. You might want two blocks on either side 
of your foot. You can do this right in front of a table or a bed as well to get your hands on something. And just try and square your hips as much as possible. Left hip coming forward, right hip back. Giving your spine a little release after that intense twisting triangle pose. All right, we'll do it on the other side. So come on up, flip yourself over or just switch your legs. You're gonna square your hips to the front of the mat with the left leg forward. So turn your toes in a little bit. So bring your foot more to the right. And then, yeah, yeah, there we go. And, and turn your toes in a little bit. Perfect. That's great. Now the right arm will lift up, getting length on that right side body. Big inhale. Exhale, hinge at the hips. And hand comes down to a block or the floor inside that front foot. So just feel the degree of the twist here before you add the upper arm. You can do this without the upper arm or putting it on your low back. But then when you're ready, that left arm can lift up and find the twist in your rib cage. Send the left hip back. Beautiful. That was a great adjustment. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Lots of length on the right side body, left hip moving back. Three, find that beautiful extension between your palms, right? There's a straight line right across your, coll across your collarbones. Two, big inhale, and exhale, forward fold over that front leg, Parsvottanasana pose. You can always have a little micro bend in that front knee. Hamstrings are tight, right? <laughs> Most of us have those tight hamstrings. Head is just hanging down like a bowling ball on a string. Oh, a few delicious breaths. And then when you're ready, you can step the right foot forward and just hang in a forward fold, neutralizing in your hips a little bit. You can have your feet nice and wide here, whatever's comfortable, bend your knees to whatever degree you like. Hands can dangle, they can grab opposite elbows, they can be on blocks. Hmm. All right, one more twist. We'll come down to the floor again on the back when you're ready. So we twist it on the floor with both knees to start, and that's a beautiful, delicious, easy way to twist your spine. To conclude, we're going to do an, uh, an apanasana twist. We did apanasana the other day. So bring your right knee up into your chest. If it's okay, you can, extend your, you can extend your left leg down the mat. If that does not feel good in your back, you can keep that left foot flat on the floor. Either way is just fine. There are days I just like the other version better. From here, you're gonna take the knee across your body toward the floor on the left. So you're, like before, you want your, your left, your, that's your right arm, your, your right shoulder blade and arm on the floor. That knee probably won't come all the way to the floor. That's fine. You can put a block or a pillow or anything you like underneath it or just hold it in the air. It's a different kind of twist than the two-legged twist. Just feels a little different. This one, I feel like you can get a little bit deeper once you're warmer. So we do this one typically at the end of a practice, but not always. And the same expansion on the inhales and grounding on the exhales here you can feel it in your low back and your hip and your side waist in that shoulder when you're ready inhale back up to center both knees come in just flatten your low back down and then the right knee can extend when you're ready foot flat or extended same, same. So here's your apanasana. You can roll that ankle around, any kind of movement into the groin that you like. And then when you're ready, take your twist. Left knee comes across, left shoulder stays on the floor. You can always reposition that hip into the middle of the mat because you're coming off that center axis a little bit when you take the twist. So whatever you, however you want to reposition so you feel grounded in that left side body that's on the floor is good. You can gaze over that opposite hand, might feel really nice. 
and feel what the motion of the breath does for this release, for this stretch. The inhales bring you a little deeper into it. We call that accessory motion of the breath. And when you're ready, come on back to center. You can extend both legs down the mat or have feet flat. Just give yourself a few breaths in a Shavasana, in a resting pose to absorb all that goodness. If you feel like um, something shifted in your body, that's great. Today would be a great day to extra hydrate, super hydrate yourself. Drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. And we'll see you tomorrow for balancing.